McMahon. Well, thank you, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. The honourable members uh, and the whole House would have watched with great concern the episodes in Bangladesh uh, over recent months. The fall of the government, uh, violence, and our thoughts are with uh, all Bangladeshis at this very difficult time. Uh, but I do particularly want to make reference to uh, the violence and the plight of uh, ethnic and religious minorities uh, in Bangladesh uh, and uh, to raise uh, some matters for the House. Now, uh, recently uh, there was a briefing of members of parliament which I participated in online. Uh, also Dr Charlton, Dr Freelander and Stanley, uh, Mr Thistlethwaite, uh, representatives of Minister Husik and Minister Rowland's office, uh, which was organised by uh, Councillor Suman Saha of Cumberland City Council and 46 uh, leaders of the Bangladeshi community that raised issues. And we're also joined by three members of uh, the families of victims of violence in Bangladesh over recent months. Now, uh, obviously, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, there are very complex matters uh, at play and uh, not every report at all times will be accurate, but nevertheless, I'm satisfied that there are genuine issues and have been genuine issues uh, that need to be addressed and uh, genuine issues were raised in this meeting. Um, 725 homes and businesses damaged, 724 homes and businesses looted, 58 homes and businesses set on fire, 17 places of worship damaged, 21 places of worship looted. And included in these statistics are human stories. Uh, it's reported that Rahul, Rahul Ananda's home has been looted and set on fire. Now, I'm um, told that Rahul's home was host to uh, cultural vibrance and community. Rahul's a very famous musician in the Bangladeshi community, and his house has previously been visited by President Macron of France. Um, but since the attack, uh, Rahul has been forced to flee Bangladesh. And he, this is one of the many source, uh, stories during this tragedy. So, all violence is to be abhorred. Uh, Minister Wong has made it clear that we want a restoration of stability uh, in Bangladesh, and I do recognise the efforts of the new government uh, led by uh, Muhammad Yunus. Uh, and as I said at the outset, uh, all violence for all Bangladeshis uh, is to be deplored. But I did want to take this opportunity to raise the particular matter of um, attacks on religious and ethnic minorities in Bangladesh, uh, Hindus, Christians and others. Uh, and to say that uh, I have written, uh, together with other Western Sydney uh, colleagues, uh, to Minister Wong uh, raising this issue. Uh, we'll continue to raise these concerns. I know our uh, representatives in Bangladesh have been actively uh, ensuring that Australia's views about the uh, need for a return to stability and lack of violence uh, are uh, represented. There has been violence against these minorities in the past, particularly in 2021, uh, during uh, the Durga Puja. Uh, but uh, I did want to take this opportunity to raise this very important matter for the information of the House and to ensure, assure Bangladeshis who are ethnic minorities that the House is watching and listening.